All right, I'll hit the A key, go back to our select tool, let's zoom back out. The last thing, whoop, hit the zoom back out. Okay, the last thing I really want to touch on and talk about is gap effects. And we looked at it a little bit earlier, but I really want to stress this a little bit, that the gap effect, think of it as a clip. It's a virtual clip. There's nothing in it to start with, but you have total control of it as far as editing it, trimming it, using all of these different dynamic trimming tools we just looked at, and adding effects into that gap effect. So, for example, let me move over there. Let's go zoom in on this. Let's select this clip here. So let's say we want to create a gap effect above this clip. So we have this empty layer up here. What I'll do is I'll use my page up key, which brings my focus point, my primary, up to that top layer, which there's nothing there but the gap. And I've got this clip selected down here. And I want to create a cut, if you will, within that gap based on my selected clip. If I hold shift and hit the V key, you'll see what I just did. I just created a cut in the gap layer above it based on the selection of the clip below. Now let's say we want to add an effect to this. So if I go to my effects ribbon, I throw a color correction on here, and now we get our color correction added to the gap. Maybe we want to make some adjustments. Let's increase my saturation a little bit, really blow this out. Let's take the contrast up a little bit. And I can start to manipulate and you know do some color effects to this, maybe create an entirely different mood, a different grade as we go and adjust this. But what's happening is, keep in mind, that's happening to this gap right here. So if I scrub through it, it's obviously going to happen to the entire clip because I set my duration. But watch what happens. And I take this clip over here and I drag this. It's like a virtual clip. So I can pull this and edit this. And now it's going to affect multiple clips inside of my timeline. And you can continue to add more effects into this gap. And then you can add more gaps on top of it if needed. Also, let me hold my one and hit my left arrow key to bring back my media library. And if I take this and I pick it up, I can put it in my media library. Now I've got an effect in here that I can come in and rename this CC effect. Then I'm over here, I'm working and I say, let's take this clip back into here. I drop my gap effect over some other clips. So I dropped it in the same clip there, but you get the idea. I can bring it over here. I can extend this duration. I can repurpose this. So very powerful workflow. I love, love, love gap effects. So I really hope you explore them and experiment what you can do with them. In the very beginning of this video, I talked about how I wanted to focus on the hotkeys and shortcuts that are available to you to make you the most efficient editor you can be inside of Smoke 2013. And I believe we have achieved that. Before I wrap this up, I'm going to again stress that Obviously, we can go to our shortcut hotkeys. Here's every single shortcut hotkey that you can use or you can add or learn from, okay? If you want to find one, type in the name and find it. Or you can go up here to your help menu and choose Smoke Help. Once again, our wiki help is going to open up. And on the front page, you've got the hotkey shortcuts right there. Click on the link. And here's all the different hotkeys that are available to you, not just on the dynamic editing. That's what I focused on right here, the editing ones. That's really what this whole video was about. Access all of them. Lastly, I cannot end a video without talking about Grant K and the Smoke Learning Channel. Going back to Smoke, I go back over here to the help menu. I choose Smoke Learning Channel. We're going to go out. I'll pause this playback for a second. But here you have tons and tons of video that Grant has created. This is just such a great resource to help you get up to speed and understand smoke. So I definitely recommend you checking out what Grant is doing here. He's constantly putting new videos up here. So once again, this is Ken LaRue from Autodesk. Please come back and visit my blog often as I plan on continually adding tips, tricks, video tutorials, and just information about smoke and what is happening. Thank you very much for your time, and I hope you enjoyed this video.